Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, welcome everyone. In these last studies, we have been reading the sacred word of Kyoshu Sama's representative and successor, Masaki Sama, titled A Glorious Future We Near. And we were scheduled to continue reading this this week. However, on March 22nd, we were graced with Masaki Sama's video message number 22 titled My Father. So this week, we're going to take a short break from our scheduled reading and watch together Masaki Sama's video number 22. This video is amazing. And for everyone who has watched it already, you are also aware of the great announcement that was made in this video by Masak Sama. I'm very excited to watch it together with you today and share some reflections afterwards. So stay tuned as we begin right after this. study, let us invite all our ancestors, all humanity that are alive within us to join together in this study. And through all the thoughts and feelings that will flourish during the study, let us return to heaven as ones who have been forgiven, purified, saved, and resurrected. And together, let us serve and glorify God. Let us also, in the name of Messiah, which is one with Meshu Sama, which is one with Jesus Christ, recognize that it is by God's grace and Kyoshu Sama's permission that we are able to have these studies. So with a grateful heart and with this sonny in mind, we will begin the reading of the church canon. Church canon. With great fear of God, we acknowledge that the Lord God is our true Father, the one and only God. We revere Meshu Sama as the model for all humanity and as our own example to follow. Meshu Sama, who was born anew as a true child of God the Messiah, by receiving the divine will that God accomplished in heaven. We believe that Jesus Christ, who 2,000 years ago embodied the name of Messiah, the name most holy and high is serving the Lord God in unity with Meshu Sama. And we regard the sacred word of Kyoshu Sama, who reveals to us the will of Meshu Sama in this material world as the sole, absolute, and irreplaceable foundation in advancing our mission here on earth. Words of Prayer God, I acknowledge that you are alive. Within me, you are alive. I thank you for nurturing me to be newly born as your child. May this blessing be shared with all. In the name of Messiah, which is one with Meshu Sama, I surrender myself to you. Please use me as you wish. Thank you very much. So, as many of you know, in every study we have at least one post from Instagram that we share with everyone. The Instagram from our mother church is a great way to get the latest news and is also to easily align our Sony with Kyoshu Sama and Masak Sama on a daily basis. These posts are also an excellent way to share the essence of our happiness with our family and friends. With so many things that we can share online, I think there's probably no better message we can send to them than the posts that we receive from the Holy Seat of Kyoshu. So make sure that you update daily from the channel. So if you haven't followed the channel yet, in order to do this, it's really easy. On your phone, you just open up Instagram, type in the search bar, World Church of Messiah, once the page is loaded, go to the button on the left-hand side, click the follow button. Also, while you're on their main page, click
click on the bell sign at the top right hand corner of your screen so that you can receive notifications by enabling all the notifications there. Okay, so as the messages come, this will ensure that you receive the most up to date information. So for the study this week, I chose this post that comes from a like some sacred words drinking from my saucer that was delivered by him during the Harvest Thanksgiving service on December 1st, 2021. In it, Masek Sama shares the following. Meishu Sama wants us to grow into ones who can hold true faith in God. Isn't that so? Today, thanks to Kyushu Sama and Masek Sama, we are being guided to this true faith in God, aren't we? Honestly, it's hard to contain the happiness I feel when I think about this great permission that we are receiving. I think that being so immersed in this joy of walking this path of true faith in God makes it easy to think that feeling such joy is a given. But to the contrary, if we observe the world, we see it is a true gift. While people are seeking such happiness, we are bathed in it daily. How truly precious. In today's video, we get a special glimpse as to how Masaksama himself was guided by Kyoshu Sama to this true faith of Meishu Sama in God and so much more. I would like to play this video here for us now. So give me a second as I put on the video. When I was 18 and living by myself in Tokyo to attend a university there, there was a time when Kyoshu Sama had some work to do near where I lived. Taking advantage of the opportunity, we decided to meet up after Kyoshu Sama finished his work. As I had not yet awakened to Meishu Sama's will of one day all humanity eating a vegan diet, we went to eat yakiniku. Japanese style barbecue. Meishu Sama, my sincere apologies. After dinner, we went to a cafe to get some coffee and then we started talking. Or rather, Kyoshu Sama started talking. I regret now that I'm not able to remember exactly what Kyoshu Sama told me at that time, but I have a vague memory of him telling me about God and heaven, and what true salvation is, and what the true will of Meishu Sama is. Even though I do not remember with certainty what he told me, I do remember one thing. I do remember that while listening to Kyoshu Sama at this dimly lit cafe, I felt a distinct sensation that what he was telling me was the truth. This person in front of me, Kyoshu Sama, was telling me the truth of the world, the truth of Meishu Sama, the truth of God. Never in my life had I come across the things he was telling me. Of course I knew that my father's job was to lead people to the truth of Meishu Sama. Of course I knew that. But at home, from my childhood, Kyoshu Sama and my mother never forced me to believe in something. They never preached to me about anything. They always respected what I treasured instead of telling me what they treasured. I never knew what my father believed in or what his thoughts were on God and Meshu Sama. But on this day, at this cafe, an opportunity presented itself for a father to convey his faith to his son. Or maybe this was the first time when my father decided to be Kyoshu Sama for a moment, for his son, for his friend, for his much younger brother. Looking back, I think it was on this day, it was on this day that a seed, a seed was planted within me, a seed of faith that 
from that day onward, continued to grow within me and made me who I am today. Some people have criticized Kyoshi sama saying that he does not have the experience of doing expansion work, that he does not know how to lead non members to the church. For me, it was Kyoshi sama who led me to Meishu sama. It was Kyoshi sama who awakened me to Meishu sama's truth. Without Kyoshi sama, his words and his posture of sacrificing his entire life for Meishu sama's truth, I would have never developed this desire within me to serve Meishu sama. Kyoshu sama is the one who led me to Meishu sama, to true salvation. And for this, I am forever indebted to him. Thank you, Kyoshu sama. Thank you, my father. Please accept my eternal gratitude. Last month, on February 4th, at the beginning of spring service held in Japan, Kyoshu sama officially announced that I, Masaki, be his representative. In the church bylaws, it is stipulated that Kyoshu sama is the symbol of the unity of all the members. It means that within Kyoshu sama, within Kyoshu sama exist and live all members of Japan and of the world. It means that Kyoshu sama is inseparable from all members, and that Kyoshu sama and members are one, always. Wherever Kyoshu sama goes, all members go. Whatever Kyoshu sama does, all members do. Whatever Kyoshu sama eats, all members eat. From February 4th, Kyoshu sama determined that I represent this Kyoshu sama who unites all members within him and who is one with all members. In other words, after that day, I too am now inseparable from you, one with you, doing everything together with all of you. I do not think you can imagine the happiness I feel for this. At the same time, the feeling of responsibility I have is immense, because now, what I do is what Kyoshu sama does. What I say is what Kyoshu sama says. Where I go, Kyoshu sama goes. Why am I saying all this? It is because I am going to Africa. Through this message, I announce that I will visit Africa in a few months' time. I will visit Africa, or more specifically, Ang Angola, more specifically Angola, and in the name of Kyoshu sama, I will consecrate land and make it into a sacred ground. Recently, with the great effort and sacrifice of all the African members, World Church of Messiah Angola purchased a huge piece of land for it to become the site of a future sacred ground, the sacred ground of soil. In a few months' time, after all the necessary planning is completed, I will visit Angola and hold the ceremony to consecrate the land as a sacred ground. Everyone, all of you who believe in Meishu sama, wherever you are or whatever nationality you are, for the first time in the history of our church, we will have a sacred ground in Africa. A sacred ground in Africa. Think of the enormity of this. Wake up and see the divine work that is being advanced under Kyoshu sama, who is the true representative of Meishu sama on this planet Earth. How long are you going to deceive yourself with lies and false information that have been disseminated by those who pretend to know who and what Meishu sama is? I tell you, they know nothing about Meishu sama. They know nothing about the teachings of Meishu sama. They are ones who justify, who justify the acts of spying and blackmailing Kyoshu sama and spreading false information about Kyoshu sama. How can they be representing 
how can they be representing Meshu Sama? There is no way. In the name of Kyoshu Sama, I am being one with all the members who truly, who truly love and believe in Meshu Sama. I will go to Africa. I cannot wait to meet, meet all of my beloved brothers and sisters in Africa. To, the, to those of you who can, come to Africa. Come to Africa. Attend this ceremony and witness, witness this once-in-a-lifetime event. This moment when Meishu Sama's sacred ground is when Meishu Sama's sacred ground is born right in front of your eyes. How did you receive this message? We have so many points to go into this study that we certainly will not be able to cover them all here today. So as always, after the transcript of these sacred words comes out, I will read it with you during the study and then we'll be able to see it point by point. But today, I would like to touch on a few points. The first is about the very way Masaksama was led to this true faith in God by Kyoshu Sama. It's really extraordinary, don't you agree? I had long imagined that perhaps Kyoshu Sama and his wife Mayumi Oksama, being parents to Masaksama, had passed on various points of their faith to Masaksama over the years of his youth, as many parents try with their children. And in the case of many parents, it usually has the opposite effect, doesn't it? But today we saw that with Masaksama, it was quite the opposite. We could also probably say that on the part of Kyoshu Sama and Mayumi Oksama, it was a total trust in God. Wouldn't you agree? And with that, a point that touched me a lot was that it was actually Kyoshu Sama who guided Masaksama. As Masaksama himself put it, saying, or maybe this was the first time where my father decided to be Kyoshu Sama for a moment, for his son, for his friend, for his much younger brother. And then he says, and looking back, I think it was on this day that a seed was planted within me. It is really amazing, don't you think? In that one encounter, Masaksama's life began to change. Not only that, but we can also see what it means to meet with Kyoshu Sama. The strength of just one encounter began this huge transformation in his life. During the video, Masaksama also comments on how some people have criticized Kyoshu Sama, saying things such as that he does not have the experience of doing expansion work, that he does not know how to lead non-members to the church. It's extremely embarrassing to say, but there's no way that I can honestly receive Kyoshu Sama's sacred words or say that I follow Kyoshu Sama without admitting that I used to be one of those people and lived that way for a long time. Instead of receiving Kyoshu Sama's sacred words for what they are, Meishu Sama's truth, God's truth, wrapped up in my ignorance, arrogance, I for a long time thought I knew better. Even worse, without ever having guided a single person or knowing what it means to guide a person to Meishu Sama's true faith in God, I thought what I knew that I had been taught was what it meant to be a follower of Meishu Sama. I used to think that Japan and the church in Japan had one reality, but the situation in the U.S. was different. How could something that was being said there apply to the work here? This is the type of posture and attitude I carried for a long time. Today, it is as clear as day how absurd a posture I carried for so long. I criticized what I would read and had the gall to say 
is what I'm hearing from Kyosha Sama the same as Meisho Sama's teaching? Where is this in Meisho Sama's teaching? How disrespectful to Kyosho Sama, to Meisho Sama, and God. Seeing this old posture of mine, there are no words to express my deepest regret and apologies to Kyosho Sama. Kyosho Sama, I am truly sorry. Today, only a blind person can say that Kyosho Sama has no experience in expansion work. As all of us, true followers of Meishu Sama, are aware we are only here because of Kyoshu Sama. Really, without Kyoshu Sama, we wouldn't exist. At the same time, when I receive this message 22, I feel a great love from Kyoshu Sama expressed in Masek Sama's words. For even though I being as I was, Kyoshu Sama has not given up on me and is allowing me to serve him and follow this true path of Meishu Sama. How blessed I am. And this unconditional love of Kyoshu Sama, of Meishu Sama, is extending to everyone who, like me, criticize Kyoshu Sama in this way. Look at the expression of love that Masak Sama, Kyoshu Sama's representative, who is now one in every sense with Kyoshu Sama, in his words and actions, is sharing with us. He says, Wake up and see the divine work that is being advanced under Kyoshu Sama, who is the true representative of Meishu Sama on this planet Earth. How long are you going to deceive yourselves with lies and false information that have been disseminated by those who pretend to know who and what Meishu Sama is. I tell you, they know nothing about Meishu Sama. They know nothing about the teachings of Meishu Sama. They are ones who justify the acts of spying and blackmailing Kyoshu Sama and spreading false information about Kyoshu Sama. How can they be representing Meishu Sama? There is no way. For Masak Sama to say, wake up, means that there is hope for those who do. As much as we were on the wrong path, as much as we lived in the midst of false information, Masak Sama is reaching out to each one of us to turn to the true path of Meishu Sama. If we truly love Meishu Sama and want to follow Meishu Sama, we can recognize where we have been, what we have done, repent and return to Meishu Sama. There's no way to say that this isn't the greatest expression of love, is there? And lastly, as I wrap up the study today, the last point that I would like to touch upon that touched me a lot is the historic moment that we will experience this year. We will have a sacred ground in Africa that in the name of Kyoshu Sama will be consecrated by Masak Sama. What a joy it is to be able to be a part of this divine work that is being advanced under Kyoshu Sama's leadership. Let's prepare ourselves by receiving these sacred words of this video not from Masak Sama as we might have received it until now, but as Kyoshu Sama's own words. And let's prepare to meet with Masak Sama in Africa, or with him will be Kyoshu Sama at this most precious time. Thank you for joining today. And may all glory, may all blessing be returned to God always. <laughs>